Hello, 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 hello. Welcome, welcome. Let me just make sure the audio is good. Then we can get started. All right, welcome back. Uh, my name is Ola, coming to you live from my Empire Pro Studios. I want to talk to you about the best online business to start today. Okay, the best online business to start today. Um, I'm sure you come here because you're an entrepreneur, something like that. You're trying to have some marketing activities. You're trying to market your business, or maybe you're trying to get into the marketing game, even as an employee. Either way, you're going to learn a lot from this video because if you can create this for other people, you can absolutely make it for your own self and use it to make money. All right. So definitely uh, keep coming back. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you turn up your notifications so you're notified whenever I get a chance to come back and drop videos. I'm busy with other endeavors, so I just kind of like make it a point to keep coming back. If you want these three books, the link is scrolling through the screen or in the description box, especially this one, Digital Marketing Certified, right? It's a good book, all right, um, on marketing digitally, the only type of marketing that exists today, digital marketing, then smart real estate old selling, you know, it's good, you know, a little bit, books are getting old, but you can get a lot of insights in them. Real estate money secret is timeless. You can download those three books for free simply by going to myempirepro.com slash three pillar system. Just go to myempirepro.com. All right. Welcome back. So what are we talking about today? Again, we're talking about the best online business to start today. And it's very tricky because we say best online business, but the reality is that all businesses right now are online. Okay. There's no, there shouldn't be such a thing such as offline business anymore. There are local businesses. And there are businesses that are more national, international, and uh, yeah, maybe maybe we can group businesses into local, national, international, depending on the demographic of your ideal customers. Where are they? Are they are they in a local environment, uh, or you can basically ship services to them, product and services to them online? Um, so it it just depends, right? Uh, but the idea of the online versus offline business, I think we should be putting that to sleep by now because honestly, your customers are anywhere um, and everywhere, but particularly they're online. They they all have phones, you know, they have digital devices in their hands, mobile devices where they are actively searching for uh, something, some kind of solution that your products and services will offer. You know, so the, the online business landscape has been evolving over the last, I've been in the game for 18 years, 15 years consistently in digital marketing. So I know I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen a lot of different faces come and go. A lot of different businesses come and go. I've seen a lot of different types of products and services come and go. And I've watched this thing evolve right in front of my eyes. So the reality is that this whole thing, at one point, there was offline business. There were people trying to shame people into staying offline using their compliances at their companies and things like that. Uh, but this is time and age, uh, you will pretty much get left behind, okay? Uh, you've seen social media evolve over time. It used to be just the internet. It was just the net. It was the web 2.0. And then, you know, what we have right now today is, uh, we do have the search and we have social. The search is basically anywhere where you can search. So you have even social platforms such as TikTok now becoming uh, a search engine where you can actually search for solutions. Uh, I'm telling you, like a little while back, I started you know, I was trying to, I was just looking for a mount, like a phone mount for the, for the car. Right. And I searched on TikTok, boom, everywhere. You can see all type of different types of options. You have the sales platforms such as, you know, e-commerce platforms like amazon.com, the Alibaba, AliExpress and things like that. So a lot is still happening in terms of the evolution of the online business landscape. But I really want to let you know that, <laughs> you know, uh, your, this is the best times. And uh, if you want to explore anything right now, it's a good time to start to explore the online business landscape. The opportunities are great. Now, it might seem like there's a lot of competition, 
But the good the good news about the online algorithms and the digital landscape is that um, this always is always lonely at the top. OK, there's always room for people that are willing to explore and find their own little niche and their own unique ways of serving the marketplace. Always, always opportunities. Help me hit the like button. Share, subscribe, by the way. Uh, help me hit the like button on this video. And subscribe if you want me to keep coming back and dropping this kind of stuff so again the landscape is is, is still evolving and i think uh i think that's a good thing that means there are opportunities now i don't think those opportunities will end now if you get stuck in your way of thinking yes things can get stuck now obviously um in terms of entrepreneurship entrepreneurship is growing um especially with the younger generations people want the options of working for themselves of serving uh, the marketplace at their own pace in their own way it's not necessarily that they want to sit at home it's easy to point fingers at the fact that people want to work remotely and they're just lazy that's easy you're being lazy the reality is that the marketplace is the marketplace the marketplace get to decide what it wants and it gets to self-adjust and self-regulate and it's your responsibility as a person who wants to bring services or products to the marketplace either by way of being a w2 uh worker or an entrepreneur is your responsibility it's your job to figure out how you're going to do that in a way that you are self-sustainable okay so don't be that person pointing figure and say people are just lazy these days no the marketplace is evolving and may the best player win okay so there is a growing trend of entrepreneurship not because people don't want to work because they're being lazy it's because the way it's we offer services to the marketplace is evolving and it's probably evolving to a space where people want to control their own schedule control how they deliver they want to focus more on delivering results more than just delivering time and just charging people or billing people based off of hourly uh, work wages right they want to deliver results and get paid for the impact that those results put into people's lives, right? So that's the way I see the growing trend of entrepreneurship, not necessarily because people are saving uh, or lazy. Um, I think that's a mindset shift that I think a lot of the loudest voices in the marketplace should probably consider, like consider that you could be wrong. It's just that people are, you know, people will survive. They will do whatever they have to do to survive, including disengaging from long hours behind a cubicle trying to serve a master that they're not sure if they're going to get laid off tomorrow or they're not sure if somebody's going to use all types of red tapes or bad behavior. You know, um, that's a word I'm looking for right now. Uh, people that just want to be spiteful to, to spite you, you know, uh, they don't want to be at the mercy of another human being with regards to how they choose to bring products and services to the marketplace. So yes, there's a growing trend of entrepreneurship and I'm telling you right now, if you're one of those people, you want to start your business. I just learned like today, literally that one of my sisters uh, who had worked for years, like professional, well-known, well-respected as an accountant with major companies. She's now decided to pursue her own career in her own dream and stuff like that. And it is what it is. It's more and growing and more and more growing trend of people engaging entrepreneurship. I was on that boat about 15 years ago when nobody else was paying attention to entrepreneurship. Another thing is that I was at a party not too long ago and I was talking to uh one of my friends uh, one of my longtime friends i was like hey listen i've been i've been doing this entrepreneurship thing for the longest and uh i feel like i might have missed out big time in the corporate world you know what he told me he told me you didn't miss anything <laughs> right so i have a lot of my friends that went when we graduated 18 years ago that went into the job market now many of them are looking into the entrepreneurship they're feeling like they they're, they're feeling a, a lack of fulfillment if you will uh some of them not all of them you know and they're looking for ways to pivot into controlling their own time their destiny and things like that you know so there's definitely a growing trend of entrepreneurship is nothing for you to worry about it's nothing for you to stress over so while there are numerous options out there uh this video i really wanted to focus on the most promising online business model okay for today and that's what i you know so the let, let's get into it really quickly something i want you to pay three things i want you to pay attention to i want you to do a self-assessment 
okay the last decade of your life what have you spent the most of the last decade of your life in terms of bringing in income into your own household so now if you're in your 20s you probably don't have much to say about that i completely get that i might do some other videos later on for people in their 20s if you're in your 20s let me know in the comments so i can pay attention right if you're in your 20s maybe you don't have a lot of data to work with maybe you're just coming out of college right good good maybe you went to college what did you spend the last two years in high school the first few years in college what did you really enjoy the most about that that's something you want to write down that's what i mean by self assessment you want to self assess yourself you want a good mix a perfect mix okay between what you enjoy doing but something that's also uh, that also has a sizable marketplace. Okay. You need to know the size of the marketplace that you're trying to serve. So if there's no market for it, you will know you need to do a research, some type of research. What's the size of the marketplace? Then obviously you want to uh, understand what the competitions are like. Like I said, if you're coming into this marketplace, it's such a wide, big marketplace. In the United States, we have 130 million households um, in over all around the world. Because again, the internet, we're talking about online right now. You basically, you have billions upon billions of people. But what is your own market? You, know, you just need like a little small chunk of that in order to, to, to bring in income into your life for the rest of your life. That's all you need. You don't need everything. So there's a big enough marketplace, but you need to drill in. You need to make sure that what you're bringing to that marketplace, what you enjoy doing, what how you think you can serve with a product or service, you need to make sure that there's enough market. There's a sizable marketplace for that there's more than enough people searching for solutions there's more than enough people that would that you can stop in their tracks if they're busy scrolling through a feed on social media like what you have to offer will actually stop them in their track right so that's something to pay attention to right it's a big big marketplace so you just need to find your own little niche so again number one do a self-assessment okay self-assessment number two identifying the skills and your personal interest but like i said a marketplace right but now identify your skills your personal skills and your interest what is it that interests you what is it that if i woke you up in your sleep you already know how to do or you're at least willing to dig in through the rabbit hole to learn how to do something that's of interest never mind the money for now okay there's money everywhere okay if you see people that's money okay but you need to find out what your skills are you need to write them down and what are your personal interests that's number two number one importance of self-assessment okay you need to dig in deeper through the last decade of your life number two identify your skills your interests skills and interests can be intersect there can be an intersection between the two okay so that's fine but again, whatever is coming to your mind, just pour them out into a note on your phone or you can grab a pen or paper if you're still using pen or paper. I don't know the last time I've seen a pen. Let me see. Okay, I think I have a pen here. <laughs> but I don't use pen or paper. But, you know, I use my my eye notes on my phone, okay? I, that's how I put out ideas, okay? Now, those ideas, most of them, are probably going to be stupid okay that's fine okay some people say there's no such thing as a bad idea i get the point okay i was listening to diary of a ceo uh, with the guy steve in the uk and it was interviewing just today i was listening to it it was interviewing uh the um ex-ceo of netflix and the guy will say a lot of people will say uh all, all ideas are good ideas and he says listen i'm calling bullshit on that i understand where it's coming from because the reality is that you're just taking notes at this point you know and you never know you're going to test a lot of these ideas out but these ideas are coming from real life experience that you've had okay so that's the whole point of self-assessment and then writing out your skills and your interest and number three okay number three i want you to pay attention to your personal strengths and obviously weaknesses and then align them with business opportunities okay there are business opportunities already assigned to what you've been doing for a living 
or what you went to college for or what you spent the last two years in high school on, okay? I will drill in a little bit deeper into the age groups later on. But for now, I just want you to align your personal strengths, okay? Your weaknesses, not so much. We're not going to worry about that. We're going to focus on your personal strength, okay, and align them with business opportunities. What are business opportunities? Opportunities for you to solve problems in a way that you can actually charge a fee for okay you can solve problems you can solve problems with product or services but it's small it starts with small small little tasks things you can do for other people ways you can make other people's life easier ways you can deliver results much faster right or make ways you can make certain tasks a lot more simpler these are these are things you want to be thinking about you can take all those down in notes and then use them in your personal assessment okay so there are many many opportunities for you to deliver these solutions into the marketplace you know many many there are many other things that you might be expecting to hear today but if you don't do this self-assessment first write down your skills and then your personal strength and align them with business opportunities everything else like e-commerce drop shipping print on demand, digital product, all those things, maybe selling a course, all those things will become useless. But if you do those online work first, right, it's easier for you to find ways to deliver these solutions as services, as product in the form of freelancing, consulting, any of this type of things, online coaching, which is something I do very well. You determine all those things later on, but first of all, do the work do the work the underlying work so that you can actually have a standing business that will be here for a long time uh, so okay so again how you're going to deliver you might just deliver coaching you might deliver actual done for you products actually get things done for people or some kind of hybrid between getting it done for them or coaching them doing it with them all of that would depend on your strength right so again that's why i said write down your strength first and then we'll take it from there. There's a lot more other things we could talk about, you know, uh, LLC, creating a business plan. Those are typical stuff that you can, you know, you can work on that with time, you know. But uh, I just want you to pay attention to the underlying things that most people miss out on. You see, about 95% of businesses will fail within their first five years. All right, those are, those are all things that we all, sh we, we, if you don't know them already, you get to know them. But again, these businesses are failing because they don't do the ground work, the foundational work. Okay. The best online business that you're going to start today is going to be dependent on three things. Just as a quick recap here. Okay. It's going to depend on what you found out during your number one self assessment. Number two, uh, uh identifying your skills and your interest. And number three, uh, is going to be based off of what your strengths are and then what kind of business opportunities have you aligned them with. All right. If you do, if you need more help around this kind of things, uh, you know where to find me. You can see the link scrolling through the screen right now. Uh, just go to myempireapple.com, reach out to me. Um, and then we'll see if we can set up a consulting session. Um, if you want to book a time with me, I think it costs a thousand dollars or so for an hour. And then we can take things from there. If you want me to work with you, we'll talk about that during the session. It's completely non-refundable. You can download my books for free. You can subscribe to this channel for free. I will continue to bring some content like this. And you can download these books for free, especially this one. You will learn a lot about everything I said in this book. If you just go through here. But if you want a one hour with me, it's $1,000. Just go through this link and then reach out and then we'll set that up. All right. Hopefully you've been enlightened, educated. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.